What's up? Stephanie here from Fit and Geeky. So, I could have a bit of a competitive ego. Hey Steph. Yeah? I'll race you to the car. Move! Hey, what's up? Beat ya! So it's not surprising that when it comes to the gym, I have this strong urge to feel stronger and be more badass than the other person. Oh, that guy's doing squats too. Dude, I could totally squat more than that guy. Oh shit, he's looking this way. Get ready. Let's do this. Awesome, awesome. Breathe, breathe slowly. Oh, a new Instagram like. Sweet, 50 likes. That's what I do all the time. Right now, my goal is to achieve this lean, muscular body. So logic follows that if I lift heavy enough, I'll get the muscles to look that way, yeah? I think that's how it totally works. So in the last eight weeks, since I started my fat loss, I've really been trying to keep the intensity high and also make sure that I can keep lifting more weight every session, every week. And when I was able to lift more, it felt awesome. Victory dance! Victory dance! When I wasn't, I felt crappy, and I felt weaker, and I thought I wasn't progressing, or worse, I thought I was losing muscle. Then I finally learned from a friend and a very experienced online coach that I just needed to stop being so hung up on strength gains. I mean, yeah, who doesn't want to lift more and more weight every week? But it turns out, being so strength focused just doesn't match up with my current goals of aesthetics. Just because I'm not putting more weight on the bar every week doesn't necessarily mean I'm not progressing. So recently I've changed my focus from trying to lift more and more weight every week to really just focusing on the quality of the movement, really making sure that my muscles are working, that the muscles intended are contracting. So it's sort of like quality over quantity and I focus on getting that burning sensation or the pump as a lot of bodybuilders call it. It's much like this pump, but for your muscles. And a quick update on my progress. As I mentioned last week, my weight loss stalled, so it's, it was time for me to really reassess what I needed to do and readjust some things. So what I've done so far is drop my calories a little further, tweak my diet a little bit to accommodate the new calories, and then I guess I'm just gonna see from there. So my question to you is, when was the last time you had a revelation and just made one simple change to improve whatever you were doing that much more? Let me know in the comments because I'm really curious about those things. I really feel like simple changes are way more impactful than changing everything at once. And thank you so much for watching this video and any of my other videos for commenting on YouTube, on my social media, and just giving me all of your support. It really means the world to me, so thank you so much, guys. I'll have another video for you guys next week, as usual, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's that button right there. And until then, stay fit and geeky, friends.